Hello everyone, hello grade 6. I am teacher Mary Ann and welcome to our math class. In today's video, we will be discussing Activity 1 of Second Quarter Week 2, Second Competency in our Activity Sheet, Solve Problems Involving Direct Proportion. But before we proceed, make sure that you have watched the previous video of this topic. I want you to open your activity sheet in mathematics on page 13. The direction says, Solve your problem, write your answer on the space provided. Now let's try a simple problem on how to answer your activity 1 of your activity sheet in mathematics. The problem is, Alice and her family are having a reunion. One loaf of bread costs 75 pesos. How many loaves of bread they can buy in 750? After reading the problem and knowing what is being asked, let's move on on how to solve for this. To solve this problem after knowing what is asked, it's better to list the given facts or numbers using colon or fraction. Let n represent the missing term. So we have this proportion 1 is to 75 as to n is to 750. Now, for us to answer the problem, simply multiply 1 to 750, after which the product will be divided to 75, and the answer is 10. Therefore, Alice can buy 10 loaves of bread for their family reunion. Now, for us to check the answer, always remember that the product of the first and fourth terms, or what we call the extremes, should be equal to the product of the second and third terms, or what we call means. I have here also another representation in terms of fraction. Simply multiply 1 to 750, then the product will be divided to 75, and the answer is 10. Therefore, Alice can buy 10 loaves of bread for their family reunion. In terms of checking the answer, let's do the cross multiplication. 1 times 750 is equal to 750, and 75 times 10 is equal to 750. And since they have the same answer, we can therefore say that our answer is correct. Now, I know you are all ready to answer Activity 1. If you do have questions, don't hesitate to ask your advisors. Thank you for watching and listening. Have a nice day!